close your eyes, watch your breath, and if the mind, if the mind wanders off, just bring it right back. Wanders off again, bring it back again. You want to make your attention as continuous as possible, because only then will you see things. The things that you need to know. Because the big problem in life, as the Buddha said, is the suffering we're causing for ourselves. And to stop that suffering, you have to be able to watch the mind carefully, to see everything from the beginning to the end. When there's an intention, then there's an action, and then the result of the action. You want to be able to see the connection among those things. So you have to be right here. If you wander off, it's like going through a room there playing a TV show. And you see a little snippet of the show, and then you walk off for 15 minutes to come back, and there's another little bit, and then you walk off again. You don't really know what's going on. You may have some ideas about what's going on, but they can be very wrong. If you want to understand the show, you have to sit there and watch it from the beginning to the end. It's the same with the mind. You have to watch the mind from the beginning to the end not go wandering off elsewhere. And the Buddha has solved a lot of the problems for us. We come into life, we have a lot of suffering. We don't know why. As the Buddha said, the, our normal reaction to suffering is bewilderment and a desire to get out. And so he solved a lot of the questions about bewilderment. He says, the problem isn't out there. The problem is in here things the mind is doing to itself right now. So he's focused our attention, he's given us the right questions to ask, and that's up to us to follow through and get the answers. I read a quote this morning someone attributed to Einstein. He said if there were a problem that required a solution and his life depended on the solution and he had one hour to come up with a solution, he spent the first 55 minutes trying to figure out exactly how to phrase the question, the best way to phrase the question. Because once the question was phrased properly, then the answer was sure to come. Well, the Buddha has done most of the work for us. We need a little bit more to see how his questions apply to what's going on in our mind. And then we can come up with a solution. But the important thing is that you learn how to watch the mind from beginning to end that you be here as continuously as possible. And that way the story will become clear. <laughs>